Hey there YouTube, I'm finally back with this Crown Vic where we tore apart the rear end where it originally came in and the rear axle seal was leaking and I couldn't get the rear axle out. I'm not sure where we, where we left off on the video. I couldn't get the axle to come out and then I ended up prying and prying and I don't know if you can see the big groove right here where the bearing wore into the axle that bad. I've never seen one that extreme like that. I've, you know, seen a lot of them where they get pitted up and stuff, but or about two years ago we rebuilt the rear end, put new, that was actually a new Dorman axle from India, so I don't know if they forgot to harden the metal or what the bearing itself I don't know if you can see it very well on the camera, but it's the bearing itself actually looks fine. We're gonna put new ones in it anyway. But you can see all the on the outside of it, all the metal filings and stuff. And it's getting all over my gloves. Looks like almost like glitter through the whole rear end. So we're gonna I had Drew tear the tear it all down and clean it all up and now we just have to put it all back together and we got a new axle from Dorman as has a lifetime warranty so hopefully the new one won't have the same problem again. Next we're gonna put the new bearing in with the bearing race driver. I felt like I just took 20 minutes looking for the new parts. the stuff sitting on the bench and went to go find it and looked all over and cleaned the whole bench off and ended up finding it about six inches where I originally sat it. Looks good. Luckily today's a Saturday so we're not in a big hurry to get everything done. Next we're going to put the seal in. I always take a little bit of grease and put it around the seal to help keep the spring from falling off. And then that also helps lubricate the seal when you're sliding the axle in. Just like that. I always like to put a little bit of gear lube in it right away. You're all slickened up. You gotta do the neck, the other side, and then we can start putting the differential back together. Next thing you want to do is put the carrier in. Oh, you can see I got the race, and then there's a shim. I had Drew mark them so they wouldn't get mixed up side to side because that can really screw things up. Put your caps on.
And then the torque spec said for these bolts were it said 70 to 90 foot pounds, so we just set it for 80 just to go right in the middle. Now we just have to put the axles in and our clips. Here's our brand new Dorman axle from straight from India. We had to wait two weeks for. You don't want to be playing around twisting it too much because you can drop your spider deers out of there. You slide the little clip in and then pull the axle back out and then gauges are in. These are just the little normal C clips if you ever had a rear end apart. Got all kinds of sirens going on outside. Hopefully no, nobody got hurt. Next we got your big pin that goes through the spider gears and then the little lock bolt. And I always put some Loctite on the locking bolt. I just got this stuff from Tifco. It's a comes in a pump. It's pretty handy. And it's a gel, so it's kind of thick. I'll, I'll see if we can see it on here. It'll focus. There. I'll just stays on there so that way it doesn't drip all over the place and just smooth it around on the threads a little bit slide your pin in put the locking bolt in If anybody else has ever seen an axle bearing wear into the axle like that, it'd be nice if you could comment and let me know. That way I have an idea what might have caused it. I 
and torque that to specs. Now all I've got to do is put the diff cover on, fill it full of lube, and put the brakes back on, and we're all done. So I hope this video is helpful for somebody if you're trying to rebuild the rear end on your Ford Crown Vic, or it's pretty much the same as any other rear differential, other than like a front loader, like a 9-inch Ford or something. But if you enjoyed the video, let us know. Thank you.